is Kilobyte here. In this video, we're going to take a quick look at the changes for 2024 from the 2023. 2023 is an ND2. Does this new 2024 deserve the ND3 title? Let's take a look. All right, so one of the things you're going to see is there's no more fang. The daytime running lights are now built into the headlight, just like the uh, other Mazdas are. And there is a slight change on the tail light. It's pretty subtle. One of the first things you're going to notice is the display screen for the Mazda Connect. It uses that new version and it's an 8.8 .8 instead of the 7 inch. So there is a new steering rack and software on the Miatas. And I have not personally driven one, but I have heard that they do in fact give a much better feel than the previous versions. If that is the case, that's pretty significant. And if you have driven one, let me know in the comments just how big of a difference it makes. Another thing is they now have an asymmetric LSD. That's limited slip differential, not the drug. <laughs> so it is made to help stability, especially going into corners. They have adjusted it so that it's a little tighter, as I understand it, when you're going into the corner to try to keep the back end better controlled. If that, is, if that works, again, that would be another good update. And lastly, there is a new DSC track mode. That's driver stability control and it's supposed to allow you to still run traction control but it's a little bit freer so that it doesn't lock you down on the track if it works well that actually be really nice because the traction control really jumps in and interferes with you when you're on the track and even in some of the autocrosses especially when you hit like any bumps or there's a rise at the uh, National Corvette Museum track on the back straight where with my tight suspension the traction control wants to kick in every time I go over it. The price starts about $935 higher than in the 2023 so there is a bit of a price increase so let me know in the comments do you think that with those changes does it deserve the ND3 title? Hope that was helpful. If so, please like, subscribe, comment, and good luck with your purchasing decision.